So the first thing I say is, you know how they take syringes and they, they squirt a little bit to get the air out? Do not do that with this. Because if you do it, there's so little in here that it's gone. Okay? So what I tell everybody is if they're laid on the ground or in a chair, it doesn't matter with this one, don't put your thumb on the plunger. Just keep your two fingers like this. Stick it in a nostril and then squeeze. All right? I don't want you to accidentally bump this with your thumb and get rid of the drug. All right? So then in another two, it says two to five minutes. I say two to four. If it doesn't work, then you're going to give the next one that you have, and hopefully that'll be enough. Unfortunately, with the amount of fentanyl in, sometimes it may not be. The car fentanyl that she talked about, I think you could have a gallon of this stuff and it's not going to help. When it's for, you know, elephants and rhinos, this little four milligram probably not going to do a whole lot for it. So, now you're experts actually on giving the naloxone, this kind. So right there, put it in the nostril and squeeze. Now I'm going to show you the other one. Because you can uh, purchase this on your own, if you use it or lose it, I mean we'll show you ways to get another one. But this is the other one. And it actually comes in a syringe and this is what EMS carries. And there are three different steps to get this uh, to work. So everything yellow comes off. You screw this on the back. Take off the other yellow one. And then you screw this thing, it's called a MAD device. It's a mucosal atomizer. And what it does, you stick this in a nostril and it breaks this liquid up into tiny little droplets so the body can absorb it. Now with this one, you give half in one nostril and half in the other. And it truly is paramount that if you use this kind, that the patient has to be lying down because we just don't want all this liquid, there's this much liquid in here, we don't want it to run out. With the nasal mist, it's not as big a deal. You've seen all kinds of things on the news where a sheriff rolls up and there's people unconscious in a car, they're overdosed, and he just reaches in and squirts that into their nose. With the nasal mist, it's, it's great and, and, and it's good for that.